now let's come back and see give reason for the bleaching action of chlorine okay so this is a quite common question which is asked in chlorine let's see why does this bleach so basically chlorine bleaches by the property of uh, due to oxidation remember that so let us uh, write in the form of an answer and most important thing is whenever you are writing such questions try to represent in the form of a reaction so chlorine uh, for its bleaching i said it uh, does by the process of oxidation for that oxidation it requires moisture so let us write that for first few words chlorine shows its bleaching property due to oxidation in the presence of moisture in the presence of moisture okay let us write the reaction now what happens first whenever you are taking chlorine i said it requires moisture nothing but water it's going to combine with water and forms two different compounds one is hcl hydrochloric acid one more hocl so most of the students write hcl log log hocl electronegative atom then this is called hydrochloric acid this is called hypochlorous acid hypochlorous acid now this hypochlorous acid further dissociates into hcl and releases nascent oxygen now this nascent oxygen is responsible for its oxidizing property it goes into the colors of the uh, the colored material when you dip in high chlorine bleach compounds it goes it opens up the chromophores that color uh, uh, segments which are there in the cloth and bleaches it and make it makes it colorless so the release of this nascent oxygen isn't oxygen so this makes or this causes uh, chlorine to act as a bleaching agent so how should you end your answer try to write this as point number 1 try to make these two as point number 2 and try to finish off your answer by writing due to release of release of nascent oxygen Which, which enters into, into the, the pores of the chlorine i said i told you right which enters into the chromophores that means the colored uh, uh, textiles okay release of nascent oxygen chlorine acts as bleaching agent Done. that is how you are going to write your answer let's come back and write the next question very quite quite common question name two poisonous gases okay point 3 we will name three better to form uh, prepared uh, poisonous gas which can be prepared by chlorine gas okay the first poisonous gas is phosgene formula cocl2 the next poisonous gas is mustard gas the formula is easy don't get can be simple just see how to write try to write ch2 four more four molecules of ch2 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 leave some space again ch2 ch2 in the center try to add sulfur atom on both the corners try to add chlorine here chlorine so this is your mustard gas formula and next tear gas tear gas formula one more poisonous gas that formula is ccl3 right well, let's come back and see the general reactions not much uh, important like uh, relevant question which is as we'll just see how to write if the question is given to us so reaction with metals so pick up any metal suppose if i take uh, sodium metal sodium plus cl2 gives me nacl okay two so two now any like common things suppose if you take aluminium <coughs> aluminium we very well know it forms aluminium chloride done so this is 3 here so let me make 3 so 3 twos are 6 so this makes you 2 simple just you are trying to form the salt suppose if you take iron okay this also is simple like there's nothing it forms ferric chloride fecl3 so here 3 chlorine so let us write 2 so 3 twos are 6 so 2 iron so simple it's not nothing to remember or memorize now when i take some non metals so basic typical non metals like phosphorus if i take phosphorus i'm going to add chlorine i'm going to get the chloride form of that pcl3 now here four phosphorus so four so four threes are 12 so six 
that. If I take one more sulfur, which exists as acid, we've already seen the puckered ring structure in the chain form, a chair form of this. So acid molecule, if I take chlorine, it's going to form a compound here. This is important. Please remember, it's going to form disulfur dichloride S2Cl2. So uh, here already uh, sulfur is 8. Suppose if I rate, take rate 4 here, 4 to the 8. So to, to, uh, 4 to the 8 again chlorine. So 4. So 4 to the 8 sulfurs, 4 to the 8 chlorines. Disulfur dichloride. Now reaction with bases. Remember, whenever you're taking bases, this is where you're going to prepare bases. I'm going to prepare bleaching powder. This is a grade 10 question. So bleaching powder or simple, what is the raw material? I'm going to take calcium hydroxide. To this, I'm going to add chlorine. It's going to form two different compounds. One is CaAOCl2. That is nothing but your bleaching powder. Along with that, you have calcium chloride also formed as a salt and you also have water molecule. So if I have to balance so two here two chlorines and two hydrogens so let's see it is balanced or not let us first write this is called bleaching powder this is the grade 10 equation that's the reason i'm not explaining it here this is it's a quite normal reaction bleaching powder and this is also called calcium o stands for oxy chloride okay done calcium is 2 okay done hydrogen is 2 to the 4 chlorine 2 to the 4 gets balanced so calcium oxychloride is preparation of bleaching powder now when i have to see the hydrocarbons hydrocarbons basically suppose i take methane methane uh, it's uh, it very low it undergoes free, your by free radical halogenation reaction so you're going to add chlorine that should always occur in the presence of ultraviolet rate then only your free radical is released out so we very well know every time one one chlorine gets substituted and it uh, undergoes until all the hydrogens are replaced so in the first one when it replaces you get one chlorine goes here hope you have seen you studied in your grade 11 free radical halogenation in the presence of ultraviolet rays so one chlorine goes and substitutes it becomes ch3cl so that hydrogen comes out with chlorine as hcl you can further write till you get ccl3 not a problem now uh, suppose if you take one more compound like this just see here c2h4 okay what is the c2h4 it is basically in this way one more hydrogen one hydrogen one hydrogen one hydrogen here around carbon valence is only two so you're going to write double bond ethene to this ethene by addition of here what did i say this is free radical substitution reaction now this becomes addition reaction now when you're adding this is at room temperature now observe carefully the bond here is going to break and here also the bond breaks addition reaction one chlorine adds to this carbon one more chlorine adds to this carbon what do i get i get c h h one cl the double bond has already broken single this carbon is here this hydrogen is still existing and one more cl that means indirectly it is nothing but c2 h4 in the exam if it's given cl2 gives me c2 H4 Cl2 right 1 2 dichloroethane simple this is your addition reaction remember addition reaction of chlorine this is your free radical substitution reactions addition reaction free radical substitution reactions 